Hello everyone and welcome back to Lounging with Lenny. My name is Lenny. Today I'll show you how to make Villa Sabuca with risotto alla milanese. So stay tuned and as always make sure to watch the video to the end. Villa Sabuca is my favorite Italian dish. It was originated in Milan and traditionally served with risotto alla milanese. A couple years ago I did this dish with creamy Italian polenta and a lot of you guys loved it. So today I decided to make it with the risotto. In this video I will show you how to make white chicken stock and veal stock from scratch. And you can prep it one day ahead. Let's begin with white chicken stock. This stock will go for risotto alla milanese. I got 4 pounds of chicken bones, place them into the big pot and cover it with 5 quarts liters of cold water. What I mean by white chicken stock is that I don't roast the bones and don't add tomato paste or carrots to it. Put it on the stove on a medium high heat, bring it to a boil, reduce the heat to low and let it simmer for two and a half hours. At this moment I'm not adding no vegetables or seasoning. I just want to extract the flavors from the bones. Now let's make veal stock. I got four pounds of veal bones and also I'm using some bones from veal shank. Place them on a sheet pan and roast it in the oven at 425 degrees for one hour. This is very important step. We want to caramelize the bones, fat around it and meat. This way the stock will be a rich brown color. Meanwhile, let's prep the vegetables. Take two onions, peel them and roughly cut it. Place it into the bowl. Take one leek, cut the white part off, it will go into the chicken stock and green part will go for veal stock. Roughly cut it. and place it into separate bowl. Lick is usually very sandy, so make sure to wash it after you cut it. Take couple celery stalks, roughly cut them as well, place it into the same bowl with the onion. Take two carrots, don't peel it, cut it, and transfer it into the same bowl. Take two parsnip, one parsnip will go for chicken stock, so peel it, and these shrimps will go for veal stock, together with one non-peeled parsnip. Very important, make sure to wash all the vegetables before cutting them. Take one head of garlic, cut it in half and place it into the bowl with other vegetables. You don't have to peel it, just lightly clean the skin that fell off. Now let's sear the vegetables. Preheat the pan to high heat, add some vegetable oil and place vegetables in. Sear them on a high heat for 5 to 7 minutes. You want to slightly char them. It is very important step for flavor and coloring the stock. Take a pot, transfer the vegetables in. Add 1 tablespoon of tomato paste. My bones are ready too. Transfer them in as well, together with accumulated fat. Take one cup of hot water, pour it into the sheet pan to clean it. And remember that this is not garbage, this is gold. You must wash it with a hot water, scrape it and transfer all the liquid into the pot. That's where the flavor is. Pour 4 quarts 4 liters of cold water into the pot, increase the heat to high, bring it to a boil, reduce the heat to low, add some parsley stems, 4 bay leaves, 1 fourth of a bunch of thyme, 20 pieces of black peppercorns, 15 pieces of juniper berries, 1 tablespoon of salt, Mix it and let it simmer on low heat for 5 hours. Make sure to keep an eye on it, so it doesn't boil. Now let's prep the vegetables for chicken stock. Peel one onion. Roughly cut it. Take parsnip that we peeled before and cut it. Two celery stalks. Put everything into the bowl.
thick white part of the leak that I left earlier and cut it. Place it into the separate bowl and wash it. Two and a half hours passed, let's get back to chicken stock. Add four bay leaves, quarter of a bunch of thyme, vegetables, leek, 15 black peppercorns, garlic, 15 juniper berries and season it with 1 tablespoon of salt. Mix it and put it on low heat to simmer for 1.5 hours. I got 2 pounds of bone marrow and I will use it for risotto. It's very cheap and I got it from my local butcher, approximately 8 bucks. Put it into preheated 425 degrees Fahrenheit oven for 20 minutes. 20 minutes passed, remove it from the oven and let it cool down for 10 minutes. Remove bone marrow with a spoon into the bowl. As always, subscribe to my channel, press the bell, press notify me to get notified about my tasty and delicious videos. And put it aside, my chicken stock is ready. Discard the bones and vegetables. And strain the stock. I was out of cheesecloth, so I had to improvise and I use paper towel to make my stock extra clear. Repeat the same with the veal stock. And don't bother yourself to skim the stock right away. Cool them down and place them into the fridge. On the next day, remove the stocks from the fridge and clean this fat cap. Remember that there is no flavor in this fat, just discard it. Just take a look how jelly these beautiful stocks are. They are rich in flavor and delicious. And you know when you make good food, don't use chicken base or veal base or those ready stocks from the store. It's so much better to make your own stock and the taste of your dish will be absolutely different. It will bring it to another level. Now it's time to prep the vegetables for my veal or sabuka. Take one onion, Cut it. One celery stock, roughly cut it as well. One peeled carrot. Three garlic cloves, slice them. Couple strings of thyme, rosemary and two bay leaves. Here is my veal shank. I got five pieces. Take a butcher string and tie it up. It will hold the meat together with the bone. Preheat the pot to medium high heat, add some vegetable oil, lightly dredge your veal shank in the flour. And sear the meat on both sides, approximately for one minute on each side, until golden brown in color. My veal is seared, we got a nice color. Into the same pot add 1 tablespoon of butter and sear the vegetables. Add onions, sear it for 1 minute. Add celery, remember that I'm searing the vegetables on the medium high heat as well. Add carrots, sear it for a couple minutes, add garlic, 
Pour one cup of dry white wine, reduce 75% of it, add two bay leaves, rosemary, thyme, and place veal shanks in. Take the veal stock from the fridge and add about 4 cups of it. Season it with some salt, black or white pepper and put it into preheated 325 degrees Fahrenheit oven for 2 hours. While the veal is in the oven, let's make gramolata. Take one fourth of a bunch of parsley. Remove leaves from stems, chop the parsley leaves extra fine and transfer it into the bowl. Take one garlic clove, puree it. Add into the same bowl with parsley. Zest one lemon. Cut a quarter of it. And squeeze the juice. Approximately one tablespoon. Pour four tablespoons of extra virgin olive oil. Season it with some salt and black pepper. And mix it. My gromolata is ready. Put it aside. For my risotto alla milanese, I will need one small onion, cut it small, one shallot. Cut it small as well. One clove of garlic, puree it. Take the chicken stock out from the fridge and heat up about 5 cups of it. Remember, when you cook your risotto, the stock should be hot. That's the only right way to cook risotto. And I will explain you why later. Steep some saffron leaves in the hot water so that saffron will get activated. Preheat the pan to medium heat, add 1 tablespoon of butter and bone marrow. Melt it. Add onions, shallot, let it saute for 2 to 3 minutes. Add 1 and 3 fourth of a cup of arborea rice. Let it toast in the pan for about 1 minute. Add 1 cup of dry white wine. Let it reduce. While it's reducing, make sure to stir the risotto. Season it with some salt and black pepper. Now let's start adding hot chicken stock into the risotto, one ladle at a time. 
and remember to constantly stir. Hot chicken stock helps to release more starch out of each grain of rice and it helps to prevent it from overcooking. The cooking time for risotto will take about 18 to 20 minutes. On a medium low heat, on the fourth minute add saffron and stir it for another minute. On the 19th minute, add one cup of grated Parmigiano Reggiano and my risotto alla melanese is ready. I like to put it into the warm place for about 5 to 10 minutes, so all the flavors get introduced to each other. My Villa Sabuca is ready. I transfer it into the sheet pan. Make sure to check it with the fork if it's tender. Strain the liquid where I cook the veal into the saucepan. Skim it. Bring it to a boil. Lower the heat to medium low and thicken it with the roux. For this amount of liquid, I will need approximately 2 tablespoons of it. Don't thicken it with the cornstarch because it will ruin the flavor of the sauce. Adjust the seasoning if needed, strain the sauce, and my sauce for Villa Saboca is ready. Pour some sauce over the veal and place it in the preheated 450 degrees Fahrenheit oven for 3 minutes. And finally, it's time to plate it. Add some risotto alla melanese in the center of the plate. Gently transfer this beautiful Villa Saboca on top of risotto. Pour some sauce over it. and add gramolata. And my beautiful veal of sabuca with risotto alla milanese is ready. I hope that you guys will enjoy it.